Hello, good evening to everyone watching this video. This is your host Peter from Sun Insurance Agency. Uh, today's week, I wanted to do a video about the new entrant for tracking for hire companies. So if you are a new entrant to the field, either if you work with Amazon or some other big companies there, FedEx, Panta, Landster, Bounce Logistics, or any other big companies out there. So there are some of the things I wanted to remind you guys, which I've seen through the social media. For example, the Facebook, a tracking group, which I've been seeing uh, people asking questions. And I just thought like, let me make this video. Uh, probably some of you can get some information and they may help you, especially those ones who are new in the field. So before we get started, if you are new to this channel, Sun Insurance, uh, please consider to subscribe at the end of this video. Uh, share the video with your fellow friends uh, so that they can also benefit from this video. And if you need insurance for your truck or your small vehicles, Give me a call at Sun Insurance. The number to call is 608-622-1228. All right, let's get started. So if you have, you are an owner operator and you have a small transportation for air company. So once you get your DOT number, and your MC or motor carrier number, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, they will put you on surveillance or they will be monitoring you for the next 18 months. So during the next 18 months, what they usually do is monitor your progress. And within the first 12 months, you must get a safety audit. The safety audit is when an inspector comes to your office or you can meet somewhere or you can do it online. They send you an email and they ask you some of the documents they would like to you to provide so that they can audit your company and you guys can exchange information. They can either tell you you have passed or you have failed the audit. But in this scenario, I'm gonna talk about when an inspector comes to your office. Usually what happens, you get a letter or they call your or they send you an email and give you an appointment. They tell you on such and such a date, such a particular time, particular location, will come and do a safety audit. So if you get such a letter and or such an email, there are some of the things which you need to get prepared so you can be ready and this one will really increase the chances for you to pass the audit. So the first thing they look at, you have to keep the driver's list. So if you have a fleet, let's say a fleet of five vehicles, eight, ten, and in every vehicle, you have a driver. So it's very important that you keep the driver's list. You know, you keep the driver's licenses, the information for each driver, 
because when the inspector comes, he will or she will ask you for that list. So it's very important for the driver's list. Also the driver's licenses. Make sure that every driver who drives for you, they have a valid driver's license. And by valid driver's license is not suspended, is not expired. That's what I mean by valid. And make sure that the document is genuine. So the inspector will be looking at that. He will ask you the information and then you he will go through the information and after that you will make a determination if you pass or fail. Also, you are required to keep the driver's record of duty. The driver's record of duty is every time the driver reports for duty, you have to keep that kind of record. It's just, so just in case you are asked to show, show proof that you've been taking the record. So it's one of the requirements which will um, make you to fail or pass the safety audit. And also, you will be asked to produce the driver's motor vehicle report or the MVR. So this one, you can check it from your local motor vehicle department or if you hire a driver out of state. For example, if you live in Montana and we hire a driver who lives in Las Vegas, Nevada. So you would have to call the Las Vegas, Nevada DMV so you can get request the driver's record and keep it in the folder in somewhere in your office. Also the medical certificate. The medical certificate, this one you can get it from, there are so many places you can Google around zip code and find out which areas but it's a requirement to have that medical card which tells the inspectors you have physically feed to go and operate an automobile. So those are the five documents you need to have and they follow under the driver related documents. The next category is the vehicle related documents. So the vehicle related documents, so you must have a vehicle list. Like I said, if you have a fleet of five vehicles, 10 vehicles or more, so you need to have a list of those, all those vehicles, the registration and uh, all the, the proper paperwork for that. And then you need to have the vehicle inspection. So once you buy a new vehicle and you have decided that's the vehicle you need to take to the road, but before it goes to the road, you have to take it to the mechanic, certified mechanic. They will inspect the vehicle and issue you with a certificate like it has passed the inspection. If for some reason it fails the inspection, they tell you what to do and correct the mechanical errors or any other mistakes until your vehicle passes the test before it goes to the road. And they usually give you a sticker which you put somewhere, you display somewhere on the, on the vehicle. So when the inspector comes, he looks at it and they find that the vehicle is mechanically sound and it's allowed to operate on interstate. And uh, you can keep also a copy in a folder somewhere in the office so when the inspector comes you can show them this kind of uh, paperwork also if you do hazmat you have to have a certificate not every driver or not every vehicle is uh, authorized to transport hazmat so you need to have that if you 
within your fleet, you are authorized. And when uh, uh, shipment is blocked to you, when you transport it, if you are supposed to display the the signs, you don't need to have that. You have to prove to them that you have that certificate. The third and final category is the carrier programmatic related documents. So under this one, this is where the insurance comes in. And that's where I'm an expert. So every vehicle which, as you all know, which need to be operated on, a, on the highways, so you need to have proof of insurance. And as a matter of fact, you can't do this business. Those ones who work with Amazon Relay, you know you're supposed to be having uh, 1 million, 2 million aggregate. I did a video about that, those ones who have seen it. If you haven't, you can check it out. It's in my channel. And uh, you have to have proof of insurance. You have to have the right coverages. If you need to have a 1 million or 2 million, and you need to have a general liability and you need to have the proper cargo insurance and from there the inspector will be asking the insurance papers for example they can ask for the MCS 90 which shows that you have the correct filings you have the certificate of insurance and you have the ID cards for all your fleet. So that's the part of improving insurance. It's very important. You have to have a document in your truck. You have to have a document in your office to prove that you carry enough insurance which will make you to operate on uh, highways. The second item under this category is the drug and alcohol program. So the drivers, they are required to go for the drug and alcohol test. Some of them, you know, you can do, they can just come and do a random you know, random testing. They can come and pick up uh, one driver from uh, your company and give him an appointment and tell him we would like to do a drug test, alcohol and drug test. And once to do, they just get the result out. And so it's not something they, you, you, you Sometimes they do random, you might not be prepared, but it is something you need to know. And in any case, you are inspected, so you produce the documents. The last item on this category is the accident register. So every time you have a, an accident, and you have to document that, you have to have a register where you have all your accident listed from the time the accident happens. So because of time, I don't want to take most of your time, but I just wanted to do this short video to help those um, uh, business people who are new to the industry. And this is what you expect to undergo within the, the 18 months that uh, you will be monitored. So this video is going to help you to, you know, to organize yourself, uh, prepare for it. If you get an appointment, don't panic and, uh, you know, put your paperwork together and I'm pretty sure you will do it. And uh, I wish you all good luck, the new entrance, some delay, and uh, wish you good luck.